everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have my first update for same pan last year this is a project that was created by Shelly from unapologetically Shelly for the fantastic ladies group and she wanted to create a project that is the, all the prompts are related to like holidays in some way and it's more of a way to like use not necessarily your oldest things but things that are might be older in your collection that aren't getting used Raven, this cat, every, she comes in here and she eats plastic. Hey, come in. What are you doing? <coughs> this is the culprit. She's eating plastic. Aren't you? She's a very old lady. Okay, I'll put you down. So as I was saying, the goal is to use products that are older although I mean this is Shelly so she doesn't really care <laughs> do whatever you want that's her motto so I have no idea what I was saying because I remembered that there was a prompt oh I do remember what I was saying I was saying that Shelly set this up so you could bring in the prompts whenever you want you could bring them all in at once you can do it the way that I'm going to do it where every month I bring in the prompts related to that month so for February I'm bringing in all of February's prompts and for the intro, I brought in all of January's prompts plus the December ones since this does only go to December 8th. I wanted to make sure I got all those prompts in, but you can really do it any way you want. Randomly, you know, roulette style, whatever. So I had, I don't even know how many, and I'm not going to bother counting because this video is already a hot mess, but I had several, <laughs> several things I was bringing in and I... I haven't hit my goals on anything, but that doesn't matter for me. Every month I'm just going to roll in new the new prompts related to that month, and I'll probably end up with a lot of products in here, but that's fine. So the first thing for New Year's Day, January 1st, of course, a new item in your collection, and I brought in my Odinzai Sumani blusher in Peach Gleam. So this is what it looks like. I do have it on my cheeks. It is extremely pigmented so I do have to be careful because it can start looking a little muddy <laughs> if I go overboard but it's really pretty I have it in for 10 uses and I've worn it twice so far then for Chinese New Year January 22nd 2023 is the year of the rabbit 2022 was the year of the tiger 2021 was the year of the ox 2020 was the year of the rat pick an item related to any of these or any animal I did cheat on this one a little because this isn't an old item, but I justified it by saying I want to use it before it becomes an old item that has never been used because it's expensive. That's my Hourglass Elephant palette, which obviously was a holiday palette or one of the holiday palettes for this year. This was the medium one. So this is what it is. It's got two finishing powders, a highlight, a bronzer, two blushes, and I want to use each pan five times. So let me see. You gotta turn it this way. So this is dim light, I've used this twice. Soft light, I've used three times. Beaming strobe light, I've used four. The lustrous bronze light, I've used three. This is iridescent coral, I've used twice. And radiant rose, I've used once. So like all hourglass products, this is really nice. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm glad that I pulled it into a project to use before it was like a year old. <laughs> Because normally that's what I would do. Then I brought in the prompt for winter, which is a winter themed item. I brought in the Zoya polish in the shade Elsa because I thought it was very wintry with like the kind of pale blue to light purpley pink shifties and then the flakes. And I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like this was named after Elsa from Frozen. So my goal is to use this five times and I have not used it once yet. So there's that. But I've got, I've got 10 more months to use it five times. I'm not worried. It'll get done. Okay, then for the prompt holiday, you can basically bring in a prompt to fit any of the holidays that fall within the month of December. So I picked Christmas and I picked my Glaminatrix Cosmetics Silent Night Palette. Ooh, it's got fallout on the, on the lid there. I do have three of these shades on today so this is what it looks like and again I want to use each pan five times and I've used 
There's two that I've used twice, but I've used everything at least once so far. So fairy lights I've used twice. That's what's on my inner corner. Then gingerbread once, jingle bell once. That's what's all over my lid. Mistletoe once. That's what's on my outer, like that's the green that's on my outer corner. Stocking I've used twice, which it looks red in the pan. But it's really, it's a really deep berry. So it's not as red as it might look on camera. It's got more purple in it, but it's a beautiful shade. Tinsel once, sleigh once, and baubles once. What was I, what did I film? I filmed an update for something. King of Horror, I think. And I had this on my, my like inner lid. Oh, I love that shade. It is gorgeous. So I've still got quite a ways to go on this one, but I, I'm not mad because I love, I love Glaminatrix. I love I've, like all of her shadows, all of her palettes. So I'm happy to be getting more use on this. Then for Boxing Day, which is December 26th, it's for all my friends from Great Britain, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. A budget item in honor of the day presents were given to servants, tradespeople, and the poor. And so I brought in my elf, what do they call these? Elf Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cheery. I do have it on over a liquid lip, and then I just put a gloss on top as well. But, I mean, it's still... It's quite pigmented. It's quite pigmented for, like, a balmy type product. So there it is. I've got four uses on it, and my goal is to finish. So I've got quite a while to go on this one. <laughs> but I'm trying to be a little more ambitious this year within reason. Then the last one that I was working on was for presents. Any item you've get, gotten as a gift for any reason, including gift with purchase. I brought in my e.l.f. Halo Go. Wow, I cannot talk today. I don't know why. I brought in my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in the shade 2, Fair Light. Lisa got this for me because she's amazing and I love her. And I want to use it 23 times for the year 2023. And I've used it five. I do have it on today, which I think it's, I think it's my primer, honestly, because I'm wearing the Luminous Putty Primer today. And then I have this mixed in with my Oma Beauty Say What foundation. And that is, it's not like a super matte foundation, but it's more of a matte foundation. But because that primer is, it's like a more of a pore filling kind of silicone-y type primer. I, they, my face looked so dry when I put all my stuff on. I had to go over it with more of this. And now like, and it's not even really like oily. It's just, now it's just glowy. So I do really like this. It's very nice. And I've got, can I, 18. I had to think for a second. I have 18 more uses to go on this. Oh, now I've got red eyeshadow all over my hand. I don't know why I thought that was going to make anything better. I'll be right back. Okay, so now for the products that I'm rolling in. So I'm rolling four new items in. There's three February prompts and then Shelly included a prompt for add your own special day and create a prompt. So that's what I've done for February, but I'm going to go through the other three first. Oh my God. Maybe. So first is for Black History Month, which is the month of February. That's a product from a black owned makeup brand. And I have this lip liner from the Lip Bar. This is their smudge proof lip liner in the shade Straight Face. Lip Bar is, I mean, since I'm bringing it in for this prompt, I think you can assume that it's black owned, but they are also, their flagship store is in Detroit. And so it's like a Detroit kind of indie but they're like in Target now and stuff so I don't know if they're still indie I don't know but it's a Detroit based company and I really like this lip liner this is in the shade straight face I have to I have to sharpen it I just didn't but my goal is I'm bringing this in to finish so that's what it looks like because I have two other lip liners that I'm working on but they're both like very neutral nudie lip liners like I don't have anything like this. So I'm bringing this in to finish. 
Then for Groundhog Day, which is February 2nd, a product you keep repeat purchasing or are doomed to pay in forever. I picked repeat purchasing. I really like the Ulta Beauty gel eyeliners and specifically the shade in copper is, I've already got a backup of it because it's so pretty. And as you can see, and I may have had this in one project for a couple, like 10 uses or something, but all of that is organic use because... <coughs> Oh, Raven. Because I just love it so much. So there it is. It's really hard to see, and it doesn't really, in my opinion, it doesn't really translate on the eyes either. But there are some, like, silver sparkles in it. Well, you can kind of see them right there. Like, I use this on my lower waterline. You can't really see them there, but it's just, I love this shade whenever I wear, like, an orangey or neutral look. I like to wear a color like this, and it just makes my eyes look even more blue and I love it. So I'm bringing this in to finish. And then for Valentine's Day, February 14th, red, pink, heart-shaped, or love-themed. Well, I do have the Natasha Denona Love palette that I hardly ever use. So I'm going to bring this in for this prompt and my goal is to use each shade three times. I have five uses each on the Silent Night palette, but that's only eight shades. This has 15, so I figured three uses per shade is good enough. But it's just so pretty, and I just don't, I just don't use it because I have too many eyeshadow palettes, and if it's not in a project, I don't use it. So I'm bringing it in to use. And then the last prompt that I'm bringing in is number 36, which was add your own special day and create a prompt if I've missed when you celebrate. And I don't know if this is like a Metro Detroit thing because we do have such a large Polish population, but the day before Ash Wednesday is we call it Fat Tuesday, a.k.a. Punchki Day. Punchis are Polish donuts that are made right before Lent because, you know, Lent comes and you, you're supposed to give up everything good. So they put all the sugar and flour and butter and eggs into donuts and the fillings and they make those right before Lent. So you get to eat those is kind of a last hurrah before you don't get to eat anything good for 40 more di for 40 days. I mean, you know, <laughs> but so I mean, my family, my dad's side is Polish and I've been, we've been celebrating Punchki Day for as long as I can remember. They are so, so good. I just, and the, there's a specialty market by me, which funnily enough, is an Italian market, but they have like all kinds of things. And they do homemade punchkis and they have cannoli ones. It's like the best of both worlds because I love cannoli. Punchkis with cannoli filling are, that's where it's at. So since Punchki Day is all about punchkis, the prompt is a donut themed item. <laughs> so I am bringing in this Glam Light lip gloss in the shade donut and I want to finish it. It smells, as I get it on my nose, it smells like a donut. This is actually the gloss that I put on top of my lips. It's, it's got a little color, but it's pretty, it's pretty sheer and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but I've barely, I have this like six gloss set that I got a couple years ago and I've barely used any of them so I need to like start working on that stuff before it goes bad and this still smells good so I'm going to use it and I'm going to try to finish it up. So that is that is my holiday but anyway that's it for my update today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy having a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!